Hey guys, welcome to the video. This is Psychology Teachings. Now, for today's video, I want to switch things up a bit. We usually start off with our introductions and then we jump into our topic, but I saw something pretty fascinating the other day that I wanted to share with you. So, there I am in a park, just sitting on a bench, and I see this little girl, maybe three, four years old, and she's running and, and her mom has a stroller and she's telling her to slow down, but this girl's not having it, right? Because they're young, they're energetic, and this girl's running and running and running, and all of a sudden she tumbles and falls. And immediately in my mind, I'm thinking, here comes the crying. But guess what happened? A few moments pass. As soon as the girl hits, she looks up. She shrugs her shoulders, smiles, gets up and walks away. Now, to the ordinary viewer, you might think, Daniel, kids run and fall all the time. What's so special? But, but let me break it down. See, usually, when people fall, they cry. Now we can talk literally, we can talk metaphorically. Let's talk literally. Literally, right? You see a kid, they run, they fall, they hurt their arm, ah, ah, they start crying, they start whining, and I mean, they're just bawling, right? And then when I saw that kid run, fall, shrug his shoulders, and just get up and keep going, doesn't that make you think of adults? When in times of struggle and hardship, and when you fall down and hurt yourself, when you get embarrassed, when you get humiliated, Aren't there those people who can just whine and cry and just sit there, whether it's for attention or whatever it may be? And then on the other side, those people who do make mistakes, they do fall, get embarrassed, they get humiliated, something doesn't go their way, they, they butcher something. And what do they do? They shrug their shoulders, get up, and keep going. What am I saying? I'm saying be like that little girl. When you go forward in life and you fall, that's okay. Just get up, shrug your shoulders, and keep going. See, you can choose how you want to act. If that little girl can do it, that little four or five-year-old girl can do it, why can't grown up adults do it? Maybe falling isn't such a bad thing. Don't show me a, a child, a four-year-old, and say, wow, look at how amazing they walk. No, I want to see that, that kid fall, as horrible as that sounds. In this context, let me make that very clear. In this context, I want to see how this child reacts to a tumble. I won't be amazed if they're walking fine. No, I want to see a tumble, and I want to see them get right back up with a smile on their face. Now that's impressive. Now that's worth a high five or a pat on the back. Your friends, your mentors, your family, or anyone, even you. Make sure when you fall, just be conscious of how do you react? Do you make a big fuss? Or do you say, falling is just another part of life? You think about how you fell, whether your shoelaces weren't tied, whether you weren't looking down, whether you weren't ready to go into that business meeting. Whether you didn't even know what to say when you asked around. Reflect on why you fell, how you fell, and how you can avoid it from happening again. Because John C. Maxwell said, pain plus reflection equals growth. As long as you're reflecting and figure out why those results happened, you can change your methods and hopefully prevent them from happening again. My name is Daniel. This is Psychology Teachings. And I wish you an amazing day.